Hello and welcome to Learning Computer Vision with Python 3. I'm your instructor, Matthew Reaver. A little bit about me. I come from an electrical engineering background and for the past six years or so, I've been developing image processing and computer vision solutions for scientific applications, including control of scientific instruments and analysis of data. I've also written several web-based applications for online data analysis and visualization that remain in use today. Python is my primary programming language and has been for the past few years, and I've also been programming in C++ and MATLAB for several decades now. I've developed an OpenCV course at the link seen here, which you might want to check out if you're new to OpenCV and computer vision in general. This will help you with this course. Okay, so what can we expect to learn from this course? Get started and learn how to set up our tools, learn how to set up Python with all the necessary scientific libraries as well as specific libraries such as TensorFlow and Dlib and Tesseract which will be needed for subsequent projects and we'll learn how to use the Jupyter Notebooks which is very useful for prototyping applications and algorithms. Then we'll get started with our first computer vision project which will be digit recognition and we'll be doing that using both Python's native scikit-learn and then learning how to use Google's TensorFlow for deep learning and more powerful analysis. Then we'll move on to facial feature tracking and recognition with Dlib in which we'll learn how to track specific facial features as well as estimate poses and identify the person in the picture. Then we'll move on to a very powerful application which is image classification with Google's TensorFlow and we'll learn a little bit about deep learning. So there are a few prerequisites for this course. Naturally, knowledge of Python will be expected. If you haven't learned that, there are other tutorials from Pact Publishing and so forth that you can check out, which will get you up to speed. And we will be using Python scientific libraries, namely NumPy and Matplotlib, which will be necessary for doing basic numeric data processing. You know, when you work with images and videos, that's pretty much necessary. We'll expect some experience with image processing and computer vision. For example, if you've used OpenCV, that would suffice. Don't need to be an absolute expert, but some knowledge of basic algorithms for feature finding and filtering and so forth will get you through this course. And some machine learning experience would be helpful, but it's not absolutely necessary as we'll be covering the needed concepts. So question that you might be asking is, should I be using Python 2 or Python 3? To quote Python's own website, Python 2 is legacy. Python 3 is the present and future of the language. We are looking towards the future here, and if you want to future-proof your code, you want to be using Python 3. So if you are using Python 2, some of the code examples here might not run, so I strongly, strongly suggest that you install Python 3 and use that for uh, all the projects here.